everybody. It's Jess here with Lush Jess. Thank you so much for watching and welcome to Lucy's bedroom with me. <laughs> it's like a very nice quiet room I can film videos in that has really good light. So I've been filming a lot of videos in here. It's been great. <laughs> I need to make myself a little office in her room. She doesn't normally spend a lot of time in here so it's usually empty during the day and it has a way better lighting than my office. So welcome. I thought today I could do a favorites video. I haven't gotten to do a favorites video in forever. And there are some new things and some old things that I've been using for a while that I wanted to share with you. None, none of this stuff is expensive, really. It's all really simple things. But I love watching other people's favorites videos because it gives me a lot of ideas on some stuff maybe I would like to try and someone else's opinion. So everything I talk about, I will show you or I'll show you a picture and I will link it down below if you want to check it out for yourself. So none of this stuff is sponsored. It's just truly stuff I have been loving this summer. So let's see, I'm going to start with this thing and there's hair all in it because I've actually used this quite a bit. This is called the Infinity Pro by Conair, not Doctor. In K no K N O T and it's a blow dryer and I've seen these being talked about and I always wanted to try one and I saw I saw it go on sale on Amazon for like less than thirty bucks and so I have been playing around with this thing. I have really thick hair, so thick. It is so thick and so it takes me forever to blow it dry. And um, usually I just like turn my head upside down and just like go all over it. Like there is no, I am not good with the round brush, like the whole, like, you know, holding the round brush and the blow dryer. And like, even when I had shorter hair, I always tried to do that and I never could get coordinated enough. So this is a round brush and a blow dryer in one. So it kind of solves that problem for you. And so, See if I can show you when you have wet hair and this turns on like a blow dryer, but it's not plugged in, you can, you know, and it blows your hair and it does like the round brush approach on it. Okay, so I really like it. I will tell you I'm still getting used to it. Um, it takes me a little bit longer to blow dry my hair with it because um, you have to kind of go in smaller sections. It's not like you can just like... <laughs> you have to really get it in there. But I will tell you when I use it, my hair looks twice as good as it does as it had as it does when I don't use it it really does like smooth it out and it helps you like get volume and kind of curl the ends under I really like it I've heard for like people with you know curly hair or, or a lot of texture to their hair it really really helps I can't speak to that because my hair is pretty straight but I do like it. I wish it was a little faster and it went a lot of a little faster because that's the only thing is that my hair is so thick. It takes me a good little while to get it completely dry with this, but I really do like it and I'm going to continue to use it. I haven't tried it on Lucy yet, but I imagine it'd be easier for me to bleach her hair with it as well. And um, there's lots of different brands out there, but that's the one I have because I saw my, my um, Instagram friend I she doesn't know who I am she's huge but Elise Myers I love her Instagram so much she's definitely one of my favorites she tried out a bunch of different of these style blow dryers and she said that this was her favorite and it was one of the cheapest ones and so I uh, she even tried like the Dyson out and so I just love her so much if you're looking for somebody to follow on Instagram Definitely Elise is who you should follow. She is so down to earth and her stories are so funny. And anyway, I'll link her as well. Hold on, my battery is about to die. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. My battery is always dying. The most inopportune times. Okay, moving on to the savior of the summer. This thing I'm telling you is my new favorite invention. It's not expensive. If you've ever tried to put sunscreen on yourself or your kids, you know what a big pain in the butt it is. I don't like the spray kind because I feel like my kids get burned weird <laughs> with it. Like you can see the spray, even if we rub it in, I just don't feel like it's even coverage. My kids are very sensitive. We have to use very specific type of sunscreen that's tear free and all this stuff, sensitive skin. And getting it on them is just a pain because the sunscreen's so thick and you put too much and you're rubbing it in and it's just, it takes forever. Well, we were going to Disney World and I was determined to find a solution and I have found it. 
Dun, ba, da, 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 da. This thing, I love it so much. I want to kiss whoever invented it. No, I'm not even kidding. It is your best friend to apply sunscreen. So what it is, it's a little, this has actual sunscreen in it, um, but it's a little roller ball with a sponge on the bottom of it. Y'all, this applies the most even layer, and this is thick sunscreen, the most even layer of sunscreen. You can kind of rub it in if you want, but it goes on so smooth. It has saved my life with kids. I'm able to just rub it on them <laughs> and we don't use too much sunscreen. It's made our sunscreen last at least three times as long. It goes on so easily. It's soft. I put my, we got two of them. I put my ultra sheer sunscreen in one and the kids sunscreen in one and it's a game changer. I'm telling you guys, it is a game changer. It goes on so easily. And so what it is, this part right here unscrews and you can fill it up with whatever sunscreen you want. We were in Florida. I shouldn't have done that one. I have sunscreen inside that's a lot um we were in florida and we're in disney world in the parks for four straight days plus the other days we're at the pool i thought for sure we would go through and have to refill it like every day no <laughs> we only had to refill it like once in the whole week and we're putting sunscreen on a ton of people I couldn't believe how far it, stre it stretched the sunscreen. This is my all-time favorite thing of this whole video, Solar Buddies. <laughs> I need to be sponsored by them. I'm trying to tell everyone I know about it. I love it so much. It's not expensive at all. You can put whatever sunscreen you want in it. It's easy for kids. I'll link it down below. Um, I've tried before, like, the whole makeup brush. I've heard that, like, a makeup brush or, like, a... Um, beauty blender use that to put on your kids no this 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 the roller ball roller ball plus the little sponge applicator it goes on so smooth you get the most light coverage um it's amazing it's amazing i'm so impressed okay moving on because i've gushed about that for like three straight minutes <laughs> it's so good now i've talked about this product in the past but I want to mention it again because I have some new thoughts about it. So in like last year's, um, I've had this for like a solid year. Uh, last year's uh, favorites video, I talked about Lumi. And at that point, I had one like this that was a um, tube. And then I also had the roller the roller kind or the stick kind, I guess it's called. So it's a deodorant, but it doesn't have any bad things. There's no aluminum. There's no baking soda. There's no chemicals. Like it's just really good for you deodorant. Um, and basically what it does is it removes odors by killing the bacteria that cause them. And you can put it anywhere. <laughs> you can put it like during the summer, if you have curves, you know, you get sweaty. I think everybody gets sweaty even if you don't have curves, but like under your boobs get sweaty. You're not really supposed to put deodorant up in there. You can put Lumi in your private area if that gets sweaty and it smells bad you can put it <laughs> this may be tmi but it's just real life you can put it on stinky feet you can put if your kids have stinky feet you can put lumi on it it's safe um it is so good <laughs> so i use this all the time it's like the only deodorant i use now so i was telling you guys in the last time i talked about this that i really prefer the stick one because it just went on so much easier you don't have to like touch it get your hands dirty i have changed my mind because the stick one dried out real fast this one is still going strong and you need like when i'm telling you you need like that much to put under your armpit it does not take much I i'm going to be coated in sunscreen and <laughs> loomy um they have all different scents i really like this lavender sage the coconut one is good they out I will tell you when you first put it on, it smells a little off. Like it smells to me, it kind of has like a cheesy smell. If that makes sense. It has a really earthy kind of smell, but that fades away and then you can smell the actual scent, but you will not have odors with this. You won't. It lasts for 72 hours. It is amazing. You know, you hear all the bad stuff about deodorants and this will, this doesn't cause any bad stuff because it's all free of that stuff.
So I've heard it was created by an OBGYN who wanted to help women with odors. And she had the thought that odors are not caused by just our anatomy and stuff like that, but it's actually caused by bacteria. And she was right. And this stuff works amazing. And you should buy some. All right. Moving on. There's only a few things left. Um, I've got my notes here so I don't miss anything. Next thing is this little baby. This is Fairlife, Fairlife Nutrition Plan, high quality protein drink. So I used to drink Premier Protein and they really started hurting my stomach. And I stopped drinking them like probably years ago, a year or two ago. And haven't really found another thing that I liked as good. When I got my espresso maker, which is totally another favorite thing, but I've already told you guys all about the espresso maker. And I was making espresso, I thought it'd be really nice to have some protein drinks on the afternoons that I want to make like a, I love to get espresso and then add like a protein shake to it. It makes like a really yummy drink and you get a lot of protein. I have trouble getting protein in. It's something I'm constantly <laughs> trying to work on. And so this is just a really easy way to get that. So I tried, I heard a lot of people talking about the Fairlife ones and I tried it and I really like them. I like to add the vanilla flavor to my coffee and it's really good. I haven't tried the chocolate. I'm sure that would be good too, but I really like these. They don't upset my stomach and my little two-year-old, y'all, he is so picky. I feel all the time like he's not getting enough protein. And if he goes a day or two without eating a lot, I will give him some of this. Not a whole one, but a little bit of one. And um, he loves it. He does not like Pediasure. We've tried Pediasure. Pediasure is like really thick and he just will not drink it. But this isn't. It actually is a little thicker than milk, but not much. And it has a really light vanilla taste. It's not too sweet. And he really likes it. So I feel okay about that. I mean, it's 140 calories. It's only two grams of sugar um, and it's 30 grams of protein. So I feel okay with him drinking these occasionally if I feel like he needs it. And I really like them too. So we have them stocked in the fridge and it's been a really good go-to for this summer. All right, moving along to something that has helped my peace of mind. My 10 year old has autism. He's tried to get out of the house before. He's a wanderer. Um, you have to be really careful because he's so quiet and he'll just open the door and walk out. And it's like terrifying when we're out in public. I'm constantly holding on to him because I'm afraid he's going to run off. And I don't think he tries to like run away. He's just really curious. If he sees something out in the yard, he doesn't think about the danger of going. And then once he's out there, he's looking at something else. And he's walking down the, you know, to the next yard and he can get away really fast. And so when we were going to Disney, I told you about this, but I wanted to give you an update of how it's been going. And what it is, is GeoBit. So here's how I didn't show you on the other video. Here's how it's worn on him. This is the best way we found to attach it to him. And this is his, his shoe. Um, and we have put it a little, there's like a little loop um, that there's a little like hole that you can string a string through. And we put it through the very bottom part of his shoe. So he can't take this off without unlacing the whole shoe and he doesn't know how to do that. So it's been so nice because with their app, I'm not gonna show you this because it'll show you our address and I don't want everybody to know where we live, but it will show us, let's see if I can cover it up. Um, no, there's no way to cover it up. Okay, I'm gonna show you this. It will show us the map of where he's at. And we're able to put on the app like different addresses that are safe places for him. And so I will get a notification when he gets home from school. I'll get a notification when he leaves to go somewhere. Anywhere that he walks with this little tracker on him, I will get a notification within 100 feet of where he's at. And it just gives me such good peace of mind. You can attach it different ways. There's like clips to put on your shirt or you can wear it as a necklace. But this has really worked for us because he doesn't like to go very far without his shoes if he's outside. And so he had he did try to pull it off a couple times at first, but now he's totally used to it and he doesn't even think about it. And so I'm really excited that we will have access to a tracker for him. I know there's different ones. People even put 
put like apple tiles on their kids and they can track that. Um, but I just really have a lot of peace of mind about it. This little tracker was a little over $100 and then you have to pay like $8.99 a month for the service and it's totally worth that peace of mind. So there's that. The other things I want to talk to you about, um, books I've been reading. My, my favorite one that I've read recently is The Office BFFs and that's by Jenna Fisher and Angela Kinsey. They are from The Office. The Office is my all-time favorite TV show. I watch it pretty much every single day. I've seen every episode hundreds of times, probably not hundreds, but a lot of times and I just love them. I love their podcast, The Office Ladies, and so when they wrote a book, I knew I wanted to, to read it. I did check it out on my Libby app though so I didn't have to buy it um so I was very happy that Libby had it I was able to check it out through my library with my Libby app and I enjoy their book so much they wrote it like going back and forth like almost like a conversation which was really cool and I just loved hearing the, like the backstory of the office and filming and how it came to be and you know stuff that happened on set and their experiences it was really good it was like a 10 out of 10 and so I definitely recommend that. If you like The Office, you'll love that book. Um, another one I want to talk to you about is an app. And it is called Upside. And I had heard a lot of people talk about Upside and just had never downloaded it. So I'm going to leave a link down below if you have not downloaded Upside. Upside is a gas, mostly gas. They do restaurants and stores and stuff too. But mostly gas. If you want to save money on gas. And who doesn't want to save money right now on gas? That's just ridiculous. And we have so much traveling this summer. We went down to Florida, we went to Alabama. And so I was looking for anything to save money. And Upside doesn't just save a little bit of money, it saves a lot of money. We, some parts of our trip to Florida, we would get 50 or more cents off a gallon using Upside. It's totally free, it's really easy to use. Link down below if you want to get started with them. I believe I get like a little kickback if you use them, but they're, they don't know who I am. You get the same referral link to refer your friends to. And um, I think like they give me like an extra bonus cents off. So if you refer people, you get extra money off, but we have saved a lot of money this summer using Upside. It's not available everywhere. So, well, I mean, Upside is, but they're like, it's not every single gas station doesn't have upside. So you have to like, once you go into the app, you have to search which gas stations near you have it. And then you claim the offer and then you go to the gas station and pump your gas like normal. And then it comes, they somehow know <laughs> by your card number, um, how much gas you got and you're able to get cash back and then they give you the money back. It's really cool. And um, sometimes you have to like submit your receipt, but a lot of times it just happens automatically, which is really, really awesome. And like I would do anything right now to save 50 cents a gallon. And sometimes we've been able to save even more a gallon. So definitely check out Upside. It's really, really great. Um, the only other thing, I have a new favorite YouTube channel and I've told you guys about her before, but I haven't done it on a favorites video. So fearfully created. I love Marina. She is so hilarious and she's a Christian lady and she does amazing like remodeling of her trailer. She has a single wide trailer and four kids and it is beautiful you guys. I am shocked every time I watch it like how are you having four kids in this trailer and it's beautiful and everything looks so nice but she's so relatable and she is hilarious and she's a Christian and she shares her faith so boldly and lovingly and I just love her so much. I only have started watching her the last few months and I just I think she she's amazing. One of her kids has autism. She's so relatable and I just I have to share fearfully created. She's amazing. She has a big I don't know how I think a few of you have told me about her but I somehow missed getting checking her out and she has like a big channel. She's got like 60 something thousand subscribers and I didn't, didn't put two and two together that that's who she was. And she's just the most humble, kind person. So I will link her channel down below, but that is it. If you've learned nothing from this video, besides go get this thing. <laughs> if you're a mom, if you're not a mom, if you just want this for yourself, 
I am so in love with this thing. It has made such a big difference in my life. I mean, it's sometimes the most simple things, but I love it. So I love you guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see y'all tomorrow.